everyone. Welcome to All Free Crochet. I'm here today to show you how to do the double crochet. So if you're ready to get your afghans started, come on and join us. Here's a little sample that I have worked up showing the difference in height between the basic crochet stitches. Here is single crochet. Here is a half double crochet. Here is a double, uh, a double crochet, and here is a triple crochet or a treble, depending on where you're from. Um, here is the double, and this is what I'm going to show you today. You can see that it's a taller stitch, and that it's, um, it does have some you know, room to get fingers and whatnot between. So keep that in mind if you are making like a baby afghan. But it's also a great stitch to know how to do if you need to work something up in a hurry because it does make uh, your work very quick. So let me set this aside and bring in my sample I've been working on. Here is the a few rows of double crochet. And um, let me get that on the screen there. There we go. And you can see here, this is, you know, I haven't done any chains in between, but you can see here it's, it's you know, a nice loose area type of stitch, but it does make a great afghan as well. So let me show you how to do it here. And to turn a row with double crochet, you usually do two or three, your pattern will tell you. And to do a double crochet, we start with a yarn over insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You're going to have three on your, on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two. You have two left, yarn over, pull through the remaining two. So there's your double crochet. And it's called a double crochet because you went through, uh, you yarned over twice to pull through your stitches. So let me show you again, yarn over into your stitch and go, yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two. So yarn over into your stitch, yarn over, and yarn over again. Let me show you, let me get some more yarn here, there we go. Let me do it one more time. Yarn over, there you go, you got three, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So there is your double crochet. Let me do one more for you here. I'll do it nice and slow, last time. Yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. There you go, so there is your double crochet. Okay everybody, I hope you had fun learning how to do the double crochet. Really wasn't that hard, was it? Don't forget, everything you need is in the description bar down below. Leave us a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions, and we'll get back to you. See ya!